Today we are exploring an abandoned hospital. We're in East St. Louis, Illinois today. I'm gonna have to have a respirator on in here and I'll show you why later. It'll be a great video. Let's dive into it. All right guys, to kick off the video, I'm gonna show you what I think is one of the coolest parts of this building. Now I am gonna show you a lot of cool stuff in this video, such as the operation room and the rooftop and many more. So you'll definitely wanna watch till the end. Right now we're at the main entrance. You can see the door over here. I love the way this area of the building looks. I think the graffiti looks really cool. Over here, I think this would have been the shop that hospitals have where they sell medicines and whatnot. You really gotta watch your head when you're walking through this place. You can see all the shit hanging from the ceiling. Now we're headed straight up to the top floor. I was sweating my ass off when I was recording this video. It wasn't even that hot. I was just kinda nervous. One, it's East St. Louis, it's a really rough area. And two, I'm alone in an abandoned hospital and I couldn't stop thinking about how many people had probably died here. Here's me looking down into the elevator shaft from the top floor. I know I said we were on the top floor already, and we were. This staircase leads to the roof, which was another one of my favorite parts. You get an awesome view of the city up here, and you can also see the St. Louis Arch, which I'll point out to you guys in a minute. I got to take the respirator off too, which felt amazing. A little bit of fresh air, feels good. You can breathe again. You can see the arch right over there. There she is, looking great as always. Now you know we gotta come over here and appreciate the view. Just really take it all in. I can smell that nasty mold smell, even though I'm not inside the building. It's just, the breeze is bringing it right to me. That's how gross it is in there. Now we're going back inside. We're going back to the top floor to see a little more of that. This hallway leads us to a door that says, hospital employees only. Don't tell anyone, but I'm not actually a hospital employee. This was another one of my favorite spots in here. I believe this was the operating room, and that's why they have all these lights hanging down from the ceiling. So now we're gonna head down another flight of stairs, and we're now on the third floor. I found this room with a giant pile of milk crates and milk jugs in there. Here's a room with a really cool view of the outside of the building. I had no idea what this room was at first. It's got this window that looks into an even smaller room, but then I found this sign on the door that says audiometric testing room. So I'm guessing they're testing hearing levels in there, and they got some crazy looking control panels. Like I said, I was getting pretty nervous in here for various reasons, and I decided I was gonna try and find an exit. So I stop on the second floor, and I realize that there's pretty much no ways out here. So then instead of going to the first floor after this, for some reason I decide to go all the way to the basement. I don't know why I did this, I must not have been thinking logically, and I must not have realized this was the bottom floor. While I'm down here, I decide to take a peek in this room. Not much going on. I'm thinking, yeah, I still gotta leave. My ass is gonna be stuck in this abandoned hospital forever. I make my way to the staircase and I go to a different floor and I, this is the funny part, I think that I've made it out. I'm feeling good, I'm giving the thumbs up. I even go to record the outro to the video. Oh man, I am sweating up a storm. That's gonna conclude our adventure for today. No, actually it's not gonna conclude our adventure because I look around and realized I'm boxed in by all these walls. This is not the way I came in and I cannot leave through here. I just realized that this is not the way out. Yeah, no shit. I think we need to go up a floor. So here we are going back into the building. The whole situation made me laugh, so I was feeling more relaxed. There's actually a lot more cool things for you guys to see in the video, so stay tuned. So I found this room, I'm not sure what this would have been, but then there's a window over here that I go through, and I walk on this other part of the roof. I think this is a really cool shot right here. I keep walking the same way I was going, and I climb through this little hole in the wall over here. This is me looking through all the doors to see if any of them lead to a potential exit. Then I come over here, I look down and I'm like, can I jump down this? Absolutely not. The funny part about all this is that I'd actually explored this location before, I just wasn't able to film. Last time I came with a group, we checked out the chapel that you see here. It was a very weird feeling because all of us in the group agreed that the air pressure felt different inside of the chapel. 
It almost felt heavier in there, if that makes any sense. Another funny thing about this exploration was that it was pretty windy this day. So as I'm walking through this dark, abandoned hospital, I'm hearing noises, I'm hearing doors creaking open and closed. Here we have the activity room. Right up here is the activity department. I go down a flight of stairs and I finally find the correct floor that I'm supposed to be on. It was marked with a red X. Maybe someone else did that when they were exploring so they could find a way out. Now that we found the exit for real, this is commentator Kevin signing off. And I'm going to let video Kevin do the outro. All right, guys, I found the exit for real this time. That's going to wrap up the video. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next Thursday.